clout chasing, abuse allegations, firearms. Today we'll look into the chaotic world of Soldier Boy, an artist that has caused controversy across the internet for the past 15 years. And this has led many people to ask, what caused a pioneer of online music to go down such a strange path? Well, today we'll find out. DeAndre Cortez Way was born in Chicago in 1990 and lived there until his family moved to Atlanta six years later. At the age of 14, he was again relocated to Mississippi, where his father gave him access to a recording studio to help hone his growing passion for music. Adopting the name Soldier Boy Tellum, which he later shortened to just Soldier Boy, the young artist started to post his early music on the streaming platform SoundClick in 2000 which received a positive response and inspired him to pursue a professional music career. Way soon after established accounts on YouTube and MySpace to promote his work, and was later praised for being one of the first rappers to harness social media as a legitimate digital marketing tool. He released his first independent album, Unsigned and Still Major, Da Album Before Da Album, on February 19th, 2007. And just a few months later, his life would change forever. On May 2nd, the rapper released Crank That, Soldier Boy along with a low-res video that demonstrated how to do the simple dance that he had created for the song. Within a month, the tune received its first airplay on radio stations, and it became a global phenomenon not long after. This young musician was one of the first people to ever harness the internet's virality to become a celebrity. The song quickly climbed to the top of the Billboard Hot 100, where it would stay for the next seven weeks. It also spawned what became known as the biggest dance fad since the Macarena, which became a staple of middle school parties across North America. At the end of the year, Crank That was number 21 on Rolling Stone's Best Songs of 2007, and was nominated for Best Rap Song at the Grammys. At the time, both the artist and his creation were completely inescapable. Crank That was also the first song to ever sell over 3 million digital copies, meaning that even if it was just a fad, Soulja Boy had suddenly found himself in the spotlight. Hip-hop producer Mr. Kala Park took the young man under his wing, signing way to his record label and helping him produce his debut studio album, SoldierBoyTellEm.com. That album went on to peak at number 4 on the Billboard 200, but received mixed reviews. Some reviewers claim that Soulja Boy had created a new trend in hip-hop that had real staying power, while others speculated that the musician would end up being a one-hit wonder. Soldier also faced his first brush with legal issues in December, when he was sued by William Leones, a rapper from the group Mo Thug's Family, who claimed to have created the stage name Soldier Boy, which was spelled the exact same with an H in 1996. This lawsuit never went anywhere, but it was only the beginning of his clashes with the previous generation of hip-hop. You see, given that Way's biggest song was largely seen as a gimmick dance for teenagers, old rappers were not impressed with him as a staple of modern hip-hop. In June 2008, rapper and Law & Order SVU star Ice-T told the young star to eat a dick, and that he had single-handedly killed hip-hop. This prompted a short feud between the two artists, who posted videos trading insults back and forth all of which have been deleted. Soldier Boy's tone in these uploads was largely perceived as joking, and he didn't seem to be taking the situation too seriously. While Ice-T later apologized for his comments, he still called Soldier's music garbage. On December 16th, Way released his follow-up album titled I Soldier Boy Tell Him which received a far more negative reaction across the board from critics, and fell far short of the success of Crank That. Two weeks later, right after the album's release party, the rapper's house was robbed in the middle of the night. Soldier recounted the story to MTV News, describing how a few masked perpetrators entered his house with AK-47s and attacked him and his friends. At the time, he seemed unwilling to discuss the details of the night, saying, I really can't dwell on what happened. Happened. However, in 2016, the artist retold the story with a few new details. I hop out, I start shooting. Bow, 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 bow. Shot the nigga. Bow, shot his ass. Bow, 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 bow. All the 
motherfuckers run out the door, they run out the door. It's not on the flow. You still alive? Yeah. No, no, no. I don't want to talk about all that. Okay. The next year, the artist started to expand his creative horizons. He announced that he would be creating a TV show, Soldier Boy, the animated series, but only one episode was ever released. Out there, you may be Soldier Boy Tellum, the loved teenage rap star, but in here, you're nothing but a skinny D student named Dre. I'm not impressed with your rap video, your shoe deal, or those sunglasses. He also had another run-in with the law. On October 9th, the rapper was arrested for obstruction after running from police. Despite being told to stop, the officers had been responding to a complaint about a group of young people gathering around an abandoned house, who scattered when they arrived. The few who stayed told the officers they were there to shoot a music video, and Wei was arrested when he returned to the scene to get his car. A handgun was also found in one of the nearby vehicles, but its owner was not identified. But these incidents didn't impact Soldier Boy's career too greatly. In November 2010, he appeared on the cover story of XXL Magazine, which explored his rise as well as his friendship with fellow rapper 50 Cent. He was also gearing up for the release of his third album, The DeAndre Way, which he anticipated would be his best and most successful record yet. Unfortunately, when it dropped, it was met with largely disinterested reviews. It ended up being his lowest selling album after only moving roughly 13,000 units and many speculated that Soulja's time as a cultural powerhouse was fading. The rapper blamed his record label for the low sales, claiming that they only shipped 18,000 units to stores in the first place, and said that his now stained professional relationship with Mr. Kala Park had caused the release to falter. The two artists had stopped working as closely together after Wei had founded his own record label, Stax on Deck Entertainment, and pursued more and more solo business opportunities. They would later make amends, but it was 50 Cent who inspired his friend to keep on going in the industry, and that his uniqueness as an artist had transformed the hip-hop genre no matter what his sales figures were. The one thing Soldier Boy could rely on was his online following, even if he was rarely taken seriously as a musician. Early the next year, the rapper faced a personal tragedy. His 14-year-old brother, Dion Jenkins, was killed in a car accident. The rest of 2011 was full of ups and downs, as Wei's reputation started to overtake his artistic ambitions. In April, he expressed interest in remaking the 1992 film Juice, originally starring Tupac Shakur. He even released a mixtape inspired by the film, but the reboot itself never came to fruition. This plan also reignited his beef with Ice-T, who called the idea ridiculous. In June, he claimed to have spent $5 million on a private jet as a birthday gift to himself, but this story was refuted only a day later by his manager. In September, Wei found himself at the center of a new controversy. He released a video for his single, Let's Be Real, which contained lyrics that were critical of the FBI and the US Armed Forces. Former and current members of the military were quick to criticize the rapper, saying that the lyrics were particularly insensitive given the upcoming anniversary of 9-11. The artist apologized for the views he expressed in his song, saying that his words had come out wrong, and that he was wrong to even speak them. The track was then removed from Soulja Boy's upcoming album, and his team tried to scrub the video from the internet. On October 18th, Soulja Boy The Movie was released, a straight-to-DVD documentary featuring a behind-the-scenes look at the rapper's life with interviews from him and his collaborators. Way intended to promote the film as much as possible, but on the same same day, he was arrested when police found marijuana, firearms, and roughly $70,000 in cash in his car. He was released on a $10,000 bond and immediately returned to his social media to spread the word about his movie, leading some onlookers to jokingly question whether the arrest was part of the marketing. In December, Soldier Boy sued his ex-manager, Philip Ransom, for allegedly coercing him into signing contracts that he called unconscionable, oppressive, and unjust. Ransom denied the allegations and countersued, claiming that the rapper was lying about the contracts and was still withholding money that was owed. Some were quick to criticize Wei, as it seemed to them that this was either just a misunderstanding or him trying to whip up another controversy. 
And with this, many thought the online celebrity would begin to fade into obscurity. But for better or worse, the light would soon shine on him again with a whole new set of shenanigans. We'll learn more about this after a brief word from our sponsor. It's that time of the year again when people have the resolution to lose some weight. But thankfully with Factor, you might actually be able to follow through with that commitment. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Their team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. If you get Factor, not only will you skip the trip to the grocery store, but skip the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too. Within just two minutes, you'll have a meal that fits your dietary requirements. Whether you're looking for keto, calorie smart, vegan plus veggie, and protein plus meals, they have your back. I personally like Factor because it takes the guesswork out of eating lunch. Instead of getting some greasy delivery, I'm able to go to my fridge and pick out a delicious meal. So to try it for yourself, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code GFM60 to get 60% off your first Factor box. Again, click the link in the description down below and use code GFM60 to get 60% off your first Factor box. You will not regret this decision. Following the decline of his music sales, the next few years were more low-key for Soulja Boy. But then his name started appearing in headlines yet again. In 2013, he was removed from an American Airlines flight after ignoring an attendant's request to sit down. This led many to wonder why he wasn't just using his private jet. Later in early 2014, he was arrested when a loaded gun was found inside his car during a traffic stop. The musician claimed that the weapon wasn't his, and tweeted that he was going to jail imminently, but this would not come to pass. He also released another album in July, King Soldier 3, but it made very few waves. After that, Wei's public life was mostly quiet until 2016. He had been largely forgotten by the mainstream music crowd at this point, and most of his behavior was dismissed by the public who generally only remembered him for one hit song he made almost a decade prior. On May 20th, 2016, the rapper signed a contract with World Poker Holdings for five years. He claimed that the deal was for $400 million, which drew a surprised and doubtful reaction from the public. That doubt was not misplaced, as WPH's publicist claimed that the $400 million total was where the deal was capped, not the actual amount he was offered. Seemingly, the fading star had jumped the gun. This would happen again in August, when a video surfaced of Wei holding a gun to the camera and threatening to kill the new boyfriend of his ex, Nia Riley. However, Nia said that she didn't even have a boyfriend, and that the person who had been threatened was just an internet troll trying to get Soldier Boy's attention. A representative for the rapper claimed that the gun he held in the video was fake, which was likely to help protect Soldier from publicly violating his probation from a previous firearms charge. However, that violation ended up happening when police searched to Wei's home in December, while responding to reports of him threatening people online, where they found several weapons, leading to yet another arrest. In January 2017, he was charged with two felonies, possession of an assault weapon and being a felon in possession of a firearm, as well as a misdemeanor because one of the guns was reportedly stolen from a police car. Wei pleaded not guilty and ended up facing no jail time. At this point, the rapper also started a short beef with Chris Brown, trading insults with him on multiple social media platforms. This eventually led to a proposed boxing match between the two musicians, but it never came about. On December 5th, 2018, Soldier Boy expanded his brand into a new market, video games. He released the first of a series of machines with the Soldier Game name a supposedly original video game console that consumers quickly came to call an overpriced emulator. As it was full of hundreds of older Nintendo and Sega ROMs that were clearly being sold without proper licensing. 
This business venture was widely mocked on the internet, especially because the consoles had no defining markers or features connected to Soldier Boy himself, and appeared to be nothing more than a bunch of cheaply manufactured bootleg machines that he was selling at a markup. So this is, we have the X-Pro 801. It comes with a controller that looks like a cheap third-party controller you get for a PlayStation 2 for Mad Cats. I got the console too, by the way, just in case you're curious. It's basically the same thing, except it, I'm pretty sure I think it runs even slower. Despite this, the rapper continued forging ahead and announced two new consoles on the 15th. The Soldier Game Fuse and the Retro Soldier Boy Mini which were designed to resemble the PlayStation 4 and Game Boy respectively. But it wasn't long before mockery turned to legal intervention. On December 30th, Wei announced that he was pulling all the consoles off shelves after Nintendo had issued an impending lawsuit, even though he had previously tweeted that this exact scenario would never happen. After this, the website through which he had been selling the consoles started redirecting to Nintendo's 3DS shop whenever anyone tried to access it, seemingly spelling the end for the Soldier Game saga. A few weeks later though, another console appeared, the Soldier Game handheld, modeled off the PlayStation Vita, but public interest in the knockoff machines had already dissipated. The rest of 2019 was tumultuous for Soldier Boy. At the beginning of the year, he had a brief back and forth with Jake Paul, who wanted to box the rapper and even offered to put $200 million of his own money on the table to make it happen. But like with Chris Brown, it never did. Soon afterwards, a series of events unfolded that would forever change the rapper's naive and silly public image. On February 4th, a woman named Kayla Myers, who had allegedly dated Soulja Boy, claimed that she had been kidnapped by the rapper after trying to leave his house early in the morning. Upon getting in a fight with one of his female assistants in the driveway, Kayla reported that Wei emerged from the house, attacked her, and tied her to a chair in his garage with electrical cables, where she was left for six hours. Other sources close to the former video game entrepreneur claim that the story was false, and that while the fight with the assistant had occurred, it was because Wei had recently broken up with Kayla and she showed up to his house unexpectedly while intoxicated. In this retelling, of events, the musician had no contact with the woman at all. When police went to Soldier's house to search for evidence regarding this accusation, they discovered weapons and ammunition inside, and the rapper was arrested for violating his probation. But this time, he was unable to find a way around jail time, and was sentenced to 240 days in prison. Shortly after his arrest, his house was broken into, and over $500,000 worth of valuables were stolen. The thieves then started live streaming on the rapper's Instagram account, which they accessed through his stolen phone to brag about the crime. Wei would eventually be released from the penitentiary on June 14th, 146 days early due to a combination of good behavior and overcrowding. But in early 2020, Kayla Myers filed a lawsuit against him for assault, battery, and false imprisonment. And court documents revealed that during her time being held in the garage, one of Soldier's male assistants had allegedly coerced her into sexual favors in exchange for being released. The artist said that all of this was just the actions of a bitter ex-girlfriend, but the accusations didn't stop there. On January 21st, an unnamed former personal assistant of Soldier Boy sued him for sexual abuse, which had begun when he sent her unsolicited pictures of his genitalia. Although their relationship did eventually turn from professional to romantic, she claimed it became physically abusive in early 2018, when the rapper allegedly pushed her out of a car during an argument and forced her to walk five miles. The violence escalated from there, with Wei reportedly hitting, spitting on, and sexually abusing her, usually in bouts of jealousy. At its most extreme, the woman was allegedly locked in a room without food, water, or a mattress, and assaulted repeatedly, leading to her moving out after one altercation that left her fearing for her life. 
The musician denied these accusations entirely, calling them lies, but also agreed to a three-year restraining order from the woman a few months later. In May of 2021, another Jane Doe emerged with another lawsuit and many stories of domestic abuse. In it, she recalled events across over a decade of Wei turning violent and attacking her. She also claimed that during a 2015 argument, while she was pregnant with his child, the rapper became irate and began to strike her until she fell to the ground. From there, he continued to punch and kick her all over her body, which led to a miscarriage. This pattern of violence was closely linked to their relationship, as Wei would allegedly coerce her into intercourse using threats of physical assault, and he had reportedly choked her in 2019, when she refused his attempts to rekindle their romance. Soldier Boy and his representatives never appeared to respond to these allegations, with the lawsuit still ongoing. 2022 was another year of ups and downs for the artist. After becoming a celebrity endorser of the Safe Moon cryptocurrency token, he and other influencers like Little Yachty, Nick Carter, and Jake Paul were named as defendants in a class action lawsuit. The suit alleged that the celebrities had shared false information about the token through their social media accounts as part of a pump and dump scheme that artificially inflated the token's worth so the executives behind it could sell their holdings for a higher price. While the celebrities initially seemed safe from retribution from angry investors, on the very same day, the US 11th Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that solicitation through social media violated federal securities regulations, based on the BitConnect Ponzi scheme of 2018. It's possible that Solja may find a way out of his legal woes again, but many wonder if his constant attempts to expand his brand may have finally caught up with him. It's unclear where Soldier Boy's career will take him. He's created music, clothing lines, animated TV, and arguably video game consoles, so anything could be next. He even bizarrely stated to be the new CEO of Atari, another claim that was immediately refuted. Still, he's an incredibly prolific musician. With a discography that includes 8 studio albums, 64 mixtapes, 14 EPs, and 57 singles, while appearing on 19 other songs as a featured artist, so it's unlikely he'll disappear from the music world altogether. On September 30th, 2022, his girlfriend Jackie gave birth to their first child, a son. Maybe fatherhood will finally give Way a new perspective on life. Or perhaps he'll be selling a line of knockoff baby toys by next year. So there you have the story of Soldier Boy, who surprisingly has been able to maintain a decent amount of relevance on the internet despite having only one hit single 15 years ago. And with that, I think I'll end the video here. So until next time, thanks for watching.